guys, this is Taylor with SoCal EMS Train Institute. In this video, we're going to be talking about tips and tricks on how to take a blood pressure. So my, my biggest tip for you guys is to practice, practice, practice. Uh, even though this seems like a simple skill, uh, you really do have to practice. Um, there's one difference between doing it in a classroom in a nice setting where there's no, no, no noise versus out in the field when it's going crazy and there's sirens and people yelling. and it, It's actually a, a very hard skill to master, especially out in the field. Uh, so the best thing you could be doing is practice. Practice on your family, your friends, classmates, your dog, doesn't matter. Practice what you can, okay? Um, the next thing I'm going to say is you have to make sure you check out your equipment, okay? Learn from my mistake uh, and check out your equipment before each and every call that you go on, um, especially in the morning before you um, start your day, because sometimes uh, your equipment will be faulty, and if it's faulty, you're not going to be able to take a blood pressure. Uh, for example, on your guys' needle, whenever you're checking this equipment out, you want to make sure that your needle is in the rectangle. Take this out. There's a rectangle on the bottom of your uh, stethoscope, and uh, that needle should be within that rectangle. If it's anything above or below that, you're not going to have a good reading once you blow up your blood pressure. Okay, so um, if you're if you're taking blood pressure and it just seems totally off, uh, well, it might be because you haven't checked out your blood pressure cuff. Uh, and it might not be in that rectangle. So make sure you fix that. There's actually sometimes keys that you can actually adjust it to, uh, but just make sure you check out your equipment uh, with that needle firsthand. And as, as well as uh, make sure that your air is staying in your, your blood pressure cuff. So just pump up your blood pressure, hold it for a while, and then if you let go, it should, uh, should go all the way back to zero, and then make sure that air stays in, and then just drain the air out, okay? Uh, one thing that you guys need to practice on uh, especially the first couple times you use blood pressure is the finesse of letting air out, okay? Uh, you don't want to go too fast and you don't want to go too slow, so what you can just do is just practice and then you just want to gently, very uh, easily release that, that knob so the air gets released, okay? That takes a lot of practice to do, um, but you can just practice that with yourself and make sure you master that, okay? Uh, a couple of other things is um, when you're putting this on a blood pressure cuff on a patient, what you can do is you want to make sure that you control that person's arm. Sometimes uh, patients are going to be moving around, talking, not paying attention. They don't know that you're taking blood pressure. So tell the person, ma'am, sir, I'm going to be taking a blood pressure. Please keep your arm still, okay? If they're not listening to you or they're still going crazy or maybe they're unconscious and they're unresponsive and they're moving around, um, take that arm and just lock it out. That way they can't move, okay? Take control of that person. That way you can get a blood pressure. Blood pressure is probably one of the most vital, vital signs that you need. Uh, so you need to get an accurate one quick and effectively. Uh, so don't be afraid to stop that person from moving. Tell them, hey, stop moving. Or uh, physically stop them from moving the arm, okay? Um, when you're putting on a blood pressure cuff, uh, always try to take off their jackets, sleeves, um, roll up their, their arms. That way you can have this uh, on their contact of their skin. The more stuff that's going to be on their arm, the less uh, chance that you're going to hear blood pressure and the more inaccurate it's going to be. So take all that jacket and, and stuff that's going to be on their arm off. Uh, before you place a, set or a uh, blood pressure cuff on, you want to see if there's any scars or any dialysis shunts or any surgeries or any weird stuff going on with their arm. You don't want to put that on a uh, arm that's that would hurt them if you did uh, pump up a blood pressure. So look at it, ask them. Um, definitely don't put on something if it's like a dialysis shunt. Um, a couple other things, if their arm is too large for you to put it on, for example, if you can't put it on their upper arm, then you're going to move over to a palpation uh, blood pressure and you're gonna, you can always put it on their uh, wrist. From here, you don't have to listen with a stethoscope, just uh, palpate it with the radial pulse. Um, you can always use uh, bigger, smaller cuffs. So if you're using, for example, um, a really big, pa large patient, uh, you might have to use a thigh cuff, either for their thigh or for their arm. If you're using a smaller patient, you might use a child uh, or a smaller blood pressure cuff. Uh, but most sizes, uh, you're going to be able to use for just a regular adult size. When you're putting this blood pressure on, sometimes these uh, tubings are in the way, so what you can do, a little tip and trick, is you can actually flip it backwards and then put it on their arm. That way it gets the, uh, the tubing out of your way of where your stethoscope would be. 
right here on your brake heel, um, and that's now out of the way. Okay. With your guys's, uh, when you guys are looking at the gauge, sometimes this is hard to find, or it might twist or turn, or you might not be able to see it. There's a couple things you can do. You can take this, you can uh, take on the blood pressure, uh, put it backwards, clip it over to their uh, their shoulder. You can clip it to uh, somewhere else where you have a better gauge to see this. Um, that's just another chip, uh, tip and trick that you can do because uh, you want to make sure that you see this. And then just a couple other things with the blood pressure cuff um, is making sure that you always clean this afterwards uh, and put it away uh, in the bag or wherever you need to, uh, to have it uh, to make sure that it's safe and that you're not going to be messing this up. Okay. Uh, a few things on the stethoscope. When you're listening to a blood pressure, uh, you always want to make sure that these uh, earpieces are going to be facing towards your nose. Okay. So sometimes if this is all messed up, uh, you don't want to put it backwards. You want this to be facing in your ears towards your nose. Okay. Um, so make sure that those are going towards your front. Uh, whenever you uh, put this on, you always want to gently test and see which uh, side the bell diaphragm is going to be on. So gently just tap it to make sure that it's going to be on the correct portion. We're always going to be using this side as opposed to this side of the, of the diaphragm. Okay. And then um, don't wear these uh, bef unless you're actually going to be physically uh, listening to the pulse because you don't want to be wearing them and have stuff bouncing around and that's going to hurt, hurt your ear, uh, ears. Um, that's about it for tips and tricks on blood pressure. Good luck out there. Practice, 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 and have fun. Thanks, guys.